Time to check out some more livestock on the 125 gallon reef. Stay tuned. Alright YouTube, Brian coming at you again with another update on uh, the 125 gallon reef tank. Uh, we're going to talk about some more livestock that's been added to the tank. That's really the only changes that have been done since the last video. Um, so I guess let's just get started. Um, we've added some fish and some corals. Um, as you can see, he just went and hid, but there is a... Um, a naso or naso tang, however you pronounce it, that I've added, becoming one of my favorite fish. Uh, I think in the last video I had showed the um, the yellow tang and the two Wyoming white clownfishes, and then I have also added a cleaner shrimp. And usually around this time of the day, he's hiding down here in this cave, so I'm assuming that's where he is now. Uh, the tangs, the naso tang is down there. Um, I also added a, uh, a yellow watchman goby that is either down in this cave or has completely disappeared or died on me. Um, haven't seen him now for a week or more. But anyway, as far as fish goes, that's the additions. As you can see, there's a lot of coral additions as well. You got this nice green torch right here. Um, I fragged a Duncan and moved it over. That might have been in the last video um, that came from the 100 or 125. This is the 125 from the BioCube. And then this nice leather right here. I'm not sure what type it is, so if anybody knows, let me know. Um, it's been doing really well. Um, bought some uh, Zoa frags down here. I got some Bam Bams and some other ones. And then this frag, um, kind of in the center right there, the biggest one. I fragged from my cube and brought it over. And then I've got this really nice octo spawn right here. Looking really well. Um, this uh, toxic green hammer, that might have been in the last video, I'm not sure. Um, a couple of um, I think I talked about these in the last video. These candy canes, I had four of them. Two of them died when the heat went up and the other two seem to still be alive. I'm gonna move those down here so that they're not as in bright a light. I find that, like with my trumpet, they did better down low than up high. And so um, I'm assuming they'll kind of react the same way. And then finally this frog spawn, really nice big, um, it was like six heads. And the local fish store I got it from just gave me a heck of a deal, like 10 bucks a head only. So it was really, you couldn't beat it. Um, the green star polyps are continuously growing and they'll cover this rock structure fairly soon. This is where that watchman goby used to hang out within this, but I, I just haven't seen him lately. So I think he's a goner, but we'll see. He could come out of hiding at some point. So this is gonna look really neat when it's all covered up completely. I'm looking forward to that. But they've been doing really well and they've colored up. The green is really starting to look kind of like that neonish color. But overall, oh, and I moved this Octospawn that I cannot get to open. It's been in my bio cube for several months. Um, just never really wanted to open much. So I moved it over here to see if anything would change and it hasn't, um, so I don't know. Probably just break that off and toss it away at some point, but maybe not. Really looking forward to seeing when this, this hammer gets bigger. It's gonna look so awesome. So anyway, um, as you can probably see, most everything in here so far that I've gotten is green, so I'm gonna have to stop now with green and get some other colors in here, some nice reds, um, some oranges if possible, some yellows, things like that. A couple of things that I've got on my radar that I'd like to put in here next is I'd like to get a, a rose tip bubble anemone of some sort. And some mushrooms of some type, uh, probably some acans, and some, maybe like a bird's nest. 
like a red or pink colored bird's nest I think would look good somewhere. So those are some things that I'm thinking about. Oh, and an elegance coral. I really want to get an elegance coral in here too. So, But uh, we've got a coral swap coming up next month. Frag swap, whatever you want to call it, locally here. And so hopefully I'll find some good deals there. I did last year. And uh, we'll see what happens. That's really all I've got for now. Um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure that you uh, subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Uh, make sure you hit that like button. Let me know what you're thinking. Give me some ideas. There's the naso. Finally out. Try to get some good video of him while I can. Um, what was I saying? Give me some ideas on what you think would be some good corals that would stand out nicely in this tank. Um, and we'll go from there. If you're interested in trying out Southern Delight, um, fish food of any type, I've got it available, uh, especially uh, those involved in the saltwater reef community. I've got uh, the marine mix, really good fish food. I've had just super good luck with it. So let me know, I am selling that and uh, just shoot me an email. My email address will be below and we can get you set up. Uh, make sure you go to Aquatic Support Systems on Facebook and give that page a like. That's my business page and uh, just really would appreciate that as well. All right, until next time, guys, take care and stay tuned.